All right. What kind of thing do you want me to say? Just talk. Okay. This. The Map Monde Nouvelle Papistique. This astonishing piece of woodblock printing made in Geneva uh, in 1566-7 exists in very few copies in the world and now exists in one more copy than was previously supposed because not very many weeks ago uh, my colleague at the Ashmolean, Dr Harry Dickinson, who works on cataloguing some of the more obscure corners of the Ashmolean's print collection, came across the 28 sheets of the Map Monde Nouvelle Papistique tucked away in a box of unmounted 18th century French prints, which it is clearly not. And having discovered it, has then been doing some work to put together an understanding of this thing. There is substantial scholarship around uh, the Map Monde. Um, none of it includes this copy, which was in the collection of Francis Douse, that great collector of not only prints but all sorts of things, who left his collections to the Ashmolean or to the university in 1834. And this edition of the Map Monde Nouvelle Papistique has lived in a folder with Douse's own handwritten note about what it is for a very long time without anybody really taking any notice of it until Harry found it not long ago. And so we hope that there will be a publication of this edition um, by Harry at some point to bring it into the world. But to have it here as a reproduced version, these are photographs of the Ashmolean sheets, is an extraordinary thing to see the scale of it, to see the madness of it. What we have is we have the Monde Papistique conceived within the mouth of Acheron, the entire world of papistry conceived in this gigantic, monstrous moor surrounded by the devils of the various points of the compass, surrounded by sturdy Protestant people who are laying siege to the papist world whether they are Irish or Scottish or English or Danish or Swedish, they are laying siege to this tawdry world of papist wrongdoing. With them are the cannons firing the word of God into this world of simony abuse which is uh, illustrated allegorically with such complexity that the whole thing needs to be surrounded by a colossal text explaining exactly what it is that we're looking at. I find it quite fascinating that you have a guerre des images going on mm -hmm. as an image. Yeah you do as an image and then you have a pelican at the centre of it so anyone from Corpus wants to come and have a look at this. You can see uh, just what a fuss was being made about the pelican at this point. Obviously we're in Geneva in 1566 is um, a very particular place from which to consider uh, the abuses of the papacy. Lots of monsters. For... Lots of monsters. 